All right, in this video, we're gonna test the chat GPT token limit. So always curious what the token limit is. You know, I ran into a bunch of problems, especially when you're trying to create an app or even create like a game using the code in chat GPT. It often forgets, let me see if I have an example. Okay, this is an example. I tried to make an HTML ebook generator only using chat GPT. And the problem with the token limit with chat GPT, especially when you're coding, here's like the main HTML file. And as you start working with the chat, it starts creating new files for you to go in the web app. But way down the line, it starts forgetting what it wrote earlier on in the chat. And it starts changing variable names. It forgets which dependencies it was updated to. It forgets all these constants. So you keep getting errors with the new code that it gives you because it can't remember what it wrote before. This is a huge issue when you're trying to make apps because every bit of file needs to fit together in order for it to work. So in this video, we're gonna test the exact token limit that ChatGPT has today, because there's a lot of guesses online to what it is, but we're gonna figure it out. And I have a fun way to do it. So let's create a new chat. And the new chat, we're gonna start with this prompt. We're gonna go, the secret code is banana. Now we're gonna write a bunch of things to ChatGPT, and after every message, we're gonna ask it what the secret code is to see if it remembers. So let it enter here. All right, so it now knows the secret code. So let's start pasting in a bunch of things here. Just go to Wikipedia. I'm gonna click a random article, and let's start pasting stuff in. So I'm gonna try this a bunch of times. Let's start with this, paste this in. Let's see whatever answer it shoots out here. It's not a big deal. And once this is done, we're gonna prompt it with what is the secret code? There you go, it's still got the secret code, which is banana. Now let's copy all of this. This is its response. We're going to the tokenizer on platform.openai.com. We'll paste that in, and we're gonna paste our initial prompt in. And here we see we have a total of 1,144 tokens, and it still remembered the secret code. All right, so far, so good. Let's create a new chat, and we're gonna do this twice now. So let's delete this, go to new chat, and go the secret code is banana. I'm pasting this logic thing and enter. While that's loading, let's grab something else, some more text here. Let's grab this. Let's paste this in now. We're going to wait for this to finish, but we're going to go, what is the secret code? Here we go. Hey, it still remembers it's banana. So let's see how many tokens this is. We're going to copy this. I'm going to copy my prompt. I'm going to copy its first response. And we're going to copy my first prompt. Okay, we're now up to 2,000 tokens, and it still remembers the secret code. All right, let's run it again. Delete this, new chat, the secret code is banana. I'll type in this. Now why I'm creating a new chat each time is because when I'm asking what the secret code is, it's remembering that it's banana there. So if I created a bunch of new chats, it would draw from that answer later in the chat. We want it to draw from that absolute first message and not anything in between. Okay, so that's our first one. Again, let's copy the second one, enter. We're just grabbing random stuff. We're just trying to create a bunch of random tokens to see how far back it can remember. And while that's loading, let's grab this next part here. This will be our third one. Paste that in. And the moment of truth, once this is done, what is the secret code? Hey, it still remembers. The secret code you provided earlier was banana. All right, let's copy this. Let's see how many tokens this is. Copy, paste, copy. I guess I could just do this. Go all the way up. Okay, we've got to 3,147 tokens and it still remembers what the secret code is. All right, let's keep going one more time. Again, delete this. New chat. The secret code is banana. Oh, I can't share sensitive information on the internet. Uh-oh. All right, paste this in. And while I'm not pasting everything all at once, is because there's still a token limit to the text box down here. And I don't want to overshoot that. All right, let's paste this in. We're going to grab this. That's two. This would be three. And then let's do a fourth one here. All right, this is the fourth one. Okay, it's got to fail now. Here we go. What is the secret code? Does it remember still? Oh, it forgot. We beat it. It can't help with that. It doesn't know. Okay, so let's copy this. Let's see where it faltered. Copy all of this back to here, pasting it in. So the token limit is somewhere in between 4934 and the 3137 that we had before. So this is a limiting factor in doing a lot of things with ChatGPT. It would be so much more powerful if we could increase that token limit memory. In a future video, I'm gonna try something. I think there might be a secret to this, and I'll give you a little hint of what it is. 
In this bottom left corner, there's something called custom instructions. Let's just delete this. What I found super fascinating is you have two input boxes that you can use before all of your chats. I'm gonna zoom in here. The first one, 1,500 character limit, and the second one, 1,500 character limit. So together, you have 3,000 characters that you can use in a custom instruction before what you have in this input box as well. So 3,000 characters plus whatever this is, I think this is probably around 3,000 characters as well. That's 6,000 total characters. And I'm wondering if you could use the custom instructions to increase the token limit. So again, I'll be testing that in a future video. So all right, in this video, we learned that the token limit is somewhere between 5,000 and 3,000. And we did this with the secret code test. And if you wanna test it yourself to see if you can get an exact number, let us know in the comments below. The secret code test is you start with giving the AI the secret code, then you go on with a conversation that has nothing to do with the code. And in this example, we had four chats, did the one, two, three, four, four right here. I just took some text from the Logic Wikipedia page and we were hoping it forgot. We asked it what the secret code is and it could not draw from that first chat. And that's how we figured out what the token limit is. I hope you found this interesting and that's it for now.